as of September, I'll have been here for about 50 years and um, it's been awesome, it really has been awesome. So, and the other nice thing is in the early days when I was doing it, I managed to drag Will along to some few places and up yep. in the wilds of uh, Wales helping electric fish. Little did I know <laughs> that next years later we'd be actually working together, not just sort of parallel organisations, but working together with each other, which is for me an added bonus. Yeah, it's really nice. I've always been interested in animals, the classic sort of thing. I was always a nerd when I was a teenager and, and younger of knowing everything about animals. And I remember writing out a little crib sheet of Latin names and common names of various things that I came across. Uh, I was always good at biology, um, so developed that was lucky in my teenage years to be given a couple of projects by various people looking at rivers and so when I started to look around for a job and the job came up 240 miles away in Dorset but it was working on fish in a river I thought let's see what it's like and um, came down and saw gin clear water uh, hordes of fish in it really nice people fantastic setting of the lab and I, I was hooked. I got into conservation yeah, I mean, partly just be by being surrounded by it. Um, you know, discussions around the dinner table, all that side of things. Uh, they still continue much to our wives, sort of. Uh, <laughs> um, but, but yeah, so um, yeah, and uh, as Dad just said, you know, took out, we got taken out on field work sometimes. You know, family holidays to North Wales. You know, for quite a few years actually involved a good contingent of going out doing fish population surveys. Um, you know, even on the river here, I remember dad having to work weekends setting up some survey equipment on one of the channels over there and us coming out uh, in the school holidays over, you know and just having time picnics so you saw something of exactly <laughs> yeah you know picnics at, hit on in the lab at the weekend to to catch up with him and stuff like that so yeah that was a really important part of it i also you know watched nature doc documentaries growing up and such like and living on a farm helped as well yeah it? that's it but that sort of like yeah the doc, sort of documentaries and stuff sort of introduced me to the sort of wider world of conservation and things like, things like that. When I came here, um, I, was, I came from Suffolk, very working class family, all that sort of normal things. And salmon like was this thing you'd never dream of seeing and let, or certainly not eating. There were no salmon farmers or anything like that. And we came down here, or I came down here to work and all of a sudden I'm working on salmon. And they think, crikey, this is amazing. You know, these things exist. And you know, at the time there were angling, people going out angling, bringing back these huge monster salmon that they were catching. There was lots of them there. It wasn't a conservation issue at all then. And you know, I'm seeing these fantastic animals, which were almost like mythical when I was a boy growing up. Uh, and so that was pretty special, you know. People mm. tend to think, they see, you know, videos of, you know, these salmon leaping waterfalls and people think they're really big strong robust fish but and they are strong but they are not robust you know they're delicate and twitchy and they require right water temperature right oxygen levels cover low cover low pollution good food and so if you get a river that's supporting salmon you can support so many fish or fish and other wildlife underneath them and they can be a very useful way of driving and uh, and that sort of change good for me would be a self-sustaining population where you don't need other interventions the conditions are, are, are fine for them for spawning there's plenty of uh, weed within the river for them to live in and and grow and thrive um, that would be good where where interventions to ensure their survival are needed salmon are a great species to study and bring people's awareness to because it has that kudos around it but also because they're a really good marker for a healthy river 